Well, it's not really the most wonderful time of the year for home buyers in the Denver metro. And if you're feeling priced out, well, you're in pretty good company right now. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is breaking down the good, the bad, and the ugly of Denver's robust 2016 market growth. On a day like today, it's easy to see why this is such a white-hot real estate market. You've got mountains, sunshine, and a robust economy. If you're already a homeowner in Metro Denver, you've seen 10% growth in your home's value this year. But there's a downside. If you don't yet own a home, newly released data shows Denver proper is now the third lowest in affordability in the country. The median home price has skyrocketed to $352,000 and leading economists say while a slowdown is eventually guaranteed, it's not in the short-term forecast, which is pricing many who would like to live here right out of the market. I would have loved to come back to Denver. I actually grew up in Denver and lived in, uh, not far from Glendale my whole life. Um, pricing market did not work. Eventually, in four or five years when everything stabilizes, when we have uh, newly built houses, the housing prices uh, won't be that high. There is some good news if you're looking to leave Metro Denver or the Front Range. Nationally, the Home Affordability Index is down about 13% from this time a year ago. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.